What up, world? It's your boy Adivo, and today we're here on location in beautiful Miami, Florida, at my boy BJ Studio. We're gonna be going over the latest release of Serato. Yeah, man. You know, there's a ton of awesome new features that they put in this program, man. We're gonna show you all about them today. Yep. And we're gonna go over some of the uh, confusion about DVS and DVS Ready. I know we were tied up for like 20 minutes trying to figure it out, but now that we got it, we're gonna help you guys walk through it. And uh, yeah, man, let's jump right into let's it. Let's do it. So the first thing we're gonna go over is DVS. DVS stands for Digital Vinyl System. Now what that is, is traditionally with uh, hardware like this, you would be able to take some turntables and hook them up and run them through uh, Serato. But because of the advancements in technology, now everything pretty much has USB. So some of the higher end controllers already have DVS enabled. Um, now other controllers like the Pioneer DDJ SX and the SX2 are what is called upgrade ready. So you would purchase the license for $169 and then you would be able to essentially use your controller as a box to hook up external turntables without the need of this or one of the mixers. So that's one of the new key features in Serato is that it allows you to use digital vinyl systems other than the traditional uh, TTM57 or Rain62 or any of the, those Rain products. Now, uh, a lot of Pioneer controllers, Akai controllers, Allen and Heath, um, all you have to do is take your turntables, plug them in, ready to go. They pretty much have the Serato built in now. So once you've purchased your Serato expansion pack, or if you already have a Serato enabled controller like the DDJ SC, there's a couple settings that you need to tweak before your turntable will be able to manipulate your music using the DVS system. Uh, first you have to just go into your setup and go over to the expansion packs tab and then you click right here on vinyl CDJ control and then you enable vinyl CDJ control. Hit yes here at this little prompt, get back out and then you're gonna go back out to your main screen and then on the controller that you want to manipulate you're gonna go ahead put that in relative mode that way it talks and now we're gonna start our music And there you have it. You now have full control over your music using your turntable with Serato's new digital vinyl system. So one of the cool new features that I want to go over in Serato uh, used to be an Easter egg called Buffer King. It's now called Colored Waveforms. Essentially, you go into the setup menu and you click on Library and Display and then go to EQ Colored Waveforms Turn it on and what that does, it'll allow you to see different colors for the different waveforms. So basically, every time I put the EQ, it affects the color of the waveform. Red is bass, mid is green, and high is blue. Pretty cool. It used to be an Easter egg. It is now a full functioning feature in the new Serato. Another one of the cool features that most of you may know about is Serato Flip. With Serato Flip, you can basically drum your own patterns and have the software save it for you and just play it anytime you need it to. That's a quick demonstration right there of how you use Serato Flip. So one of the new features that I want to go over is called Beat Jump. Traditionally, when you clicked on your beat roll, you would have two rows of parameters. If you go into the setup menu, you can click right here on where it shows Beat Jump controls. Enable that, and that changes the display on the parameters and the functionality on the controller. Now with Beat Jump enabled, you can do some pretty cool stuff like this. And if you turn on Slip Roll, you can add more to those tricks. Let's go over that one more time. Again, get creative with the wheel. For us video DJs, there's a lot of new things included in this update as well. For example, you can now play a song, and while you're playing the song, you can add a master effect over your entire performance. So we're not just talking about on channel 1 or channel 2, 
but in essentially there's now a third layer that you can add effects over everything and manipulate it as you please throughout your entire set. This is one of the uh, older features. We all know when we used to hide the track names that we could see them for a split second so that other DJs wouldn't steal our tracks. It is now a full feature in Serato as well. Well, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video on the new Serato. Uh, shout out to BJ for letting us use this place to shoot the video. Don't forget, follow him on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. At DJBJLive. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, please comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share. Peace.